This is the Lotmax CH10, a 3D printer I paid $100 for, and I would highly recommend if you see one of these for sale for $100, you should definitely buy one too. In this video, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into what it is, how it works, and why it is definitely worth $100. Let's start this video by talking about some of the features of the CH10. This printer has a 120 by 68 by 155 millimeter build platform. It uses a 5.5 inch masking LCD with a 2K resolution of 2560 by 1440 pixels, which gives it an X and Y accuracy of 47 microns. I've seen Lotmax refer to this printer as the Iron Box online, and I think that's a great name for this printer. It's made of bent sheet metal, and it just sounds and feels super sturdy. It's really bottom heavy and really dense. It just feels like a solid machine. And instead of having a UV resistant lid that lifts up and off the printer, it's got this hinge on the front. So the front panel opens up. At first I was kind of, you know, on the fence about it, but the more I use it, the more I like it. And it gives the machine this really solid feel. The two all metal hinges at the top of the printer keep the lid attached to the face and they just feel really sturdy. The Z-axis actually uses two smooth rods for travel. So a lot of thought clearly went into the design and engineering of this machine. And again, back to that $100 price point, that's a really, really low price for a printer uh, with as much thought put into the design as this. The CH10 comes with kind of a funky looking spatula. It's got a little bit of an angle to it. It's not something I'm used to before. Uh, because it has a dull edge, I probably won't be using it. It also comes with a plastic scraper for cleaning out the vat as well as instruction manuals and an ethernet cord. Getting the printer up and running with Chi2Box was really easy. The instruction manual has all of the default settings used both for the printer and for the resin. So it's easy enough to build a profile for this printer. The power switch on the machine feels like an arcade button. It is really satisfying to press and it makes a solid click. It almost feels like a mechanical keyboard. And the 3.5 inch touchscreen, it's bright, it's responsive. It beeps when it turns on and it, it's really easy to navigate. One of the things I like about the printer too is this is about as loud as it gets. The exhaust fan is right over here. So we're getting a little bit of noise from that, but generally speaking, it's not a particularly loud machine. Navigation is really easy. You can actually see here, we can go into tools and we can move the gantry manually. And so it's a touch screen. It's easy to navigate. I'm pretty happy with how simple the printer is to operate. There's not a whole lot of surprises on the interface or on the printer side. The build platform is sloped, so any resin left on top of the platform during a print will drip back down into the vat. Uh, the vat itself is a machined piece of aluminum and it has a little bit of a spout, so you can pretty easily change material in it. To test out the overall quality of parts that came off this machine, I printed a few parts from the latest Loot Studios update. And this is one of those models. This is a little dwarf who has an anvil and a sword. And the level of detail is pretty good on this. You can make out his beard, you can make out his hammer, you can see all the individual pieces of the anvil. And it just, I mean, it looks like a really high quality part. And for a 32 millimeter miniature, I'm pretty happy with it. Like it looks pretty good. I wanted to try printing something a little bit larger. So I also made this soldier who has a spear, helmet and shield all attached as one piece. So this printed out in one solid part. This is another Loot Studios model, which are awesome for test parts like this because they have the support already built into the model. And it just looks great. I mean, the level of detail is astounding for a $99 printer. I haven't had time to do a deep dive into the electronics to get a feel for what makes this thing tick, but I can say if you have an opportunity to buy one of these printers for $99, I would just do it and don't look back. It's a great value for the price. I've seen online that they sell for anywhere from $200 to $250. And that to me seems more in line with what I would expect to spend on a printer with a 2K screen that had as many features as this. So let me know in the comments, if you had the opportunity to buy this for $100, would you? Uh, 2K screen and all metal construction like this to me makes this kind of a no brainer. I would, I'd buy another one of these and I don't really even have a use for it. It just seems like you get a lot of value for your money from this machine. If you have any specific questions about the printer, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to get back to as many as I can. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.